Friends and comrades, one of the great downsides of coming last is that everything has already been said. So I perhaps will just reiterate some points, but there is one new point I'd like to make, and that is that when we talk about our opposition to religious law and courts, we must also remember that there are, in our own country, long before any issue of Sharia law came on the agenda, there is already in this country a set of laws that do give privilege to religion. I'm not talking about the blasphemy law just abolished, but a law under which I was convicted in 1998. I'm one of only about four living people in Britain who has been convicted under a religious-inspired law, the Ecclesiastical Courts Jurisdiction Act of 1860, formerly part of the Brawling Act of 1552. Under this law, any kind of protest in a church or place of worship is illegal, no matter how peaceful, no matter how brief. And on Easter Sunday in 1998, Myself and six other members of the LGBT human rights group Outrage went into Canterbury Cathedral and walked into the pulpit as the Archbishop of Canterbury delivered his Easter sermon. We did that in order to protest against the church's homophobia and its particular support for laws that discriminated at the time against a gay people. The unequal age of consent, employment discrimination, the lack of legal recognition for same-sex partnerships, all these laws, these discriminations, were endorsed by the Archbishop of Canterbury and by the Anglican Church. And for making that protest, uh, we were arrested. In the end, I was the only person charged, but I was convicted under the 1860 Ecclesiastical Courts Jurisdiction Act, and I can tell you, I am mighty proud of that conviction. It is a law that yet remains to be removed from the statute book. Um, although, Evan, it hasn't yet been removed, has it? No. Yeah, it, it, it has yet to be removed from the statute book. There was an attempt by Evan Harris and others to get it removed, but unsuccessful. Just to sort of finish, I sort of just perhaps want to sum up um, what has been said here today. Contrary to the way in which some people have tried to misrepresent this rally, this is not a rally against Muslim people. This is a rally in defense of Muslim people who are fighting against Sharia law and religious courts. Indeed, we are standing shoulder to shoulder with all people of all faiths and none who are seeking to challenge religious privilege and religious tyranny. We want to say very loud and clear that there should be one law for all and that a secular democracy is the best guarantor of religious freedom and indeed of freedom of expression for everyone. And although Sharia law and other religious tyrannies impact on so many different people, it is without doubt women in particular, Muslim women who suffer the greatest. And we are here to support those Muslim women around the world who are campaigning for equal rights. We cannot accept, we will not accept, the way in which many Islamic states, including Western allies like Saudi Arabia, restrict women's freedom of movement, make women subject to control by male guardians, deny women access to certain jobs and positions in government and can support and enforce the compulsory veiling of women via the hijab, the niqab, the jilbab and the burqa. We stand in opposition to all those religious laws that oppress women and indeed oppress any human being, whether it be in faraway countries or indeed here in Britain. We're here to show our solidarity 
with the many courageous, inspiring Muslims who are campaigning against the inequalities and inhumanities of Sharia law, often at great risk to their liberty and life. We want to say to all the people of this country and all countries that in a democracy, everyone should be subjected to the same laws with the same rights and the same responsibilities. Religious rulings and religious laws should not have any influence at all. We believe that Muslims and all peoples worldwide should have rights, freedoms and choices in accordance with the principles of equality and non-discrimination that are enshrined in the UN Universal Declaration of Human Rights. These are not Western values, they are international humanitarian values agreed by the global consensus of the member states of the United Nations. We say to our government and all governments, it is wrong to tolerate the denial of human rights. We say to people in this country, it is wrong to tolerate the denial of human rights to non-white non Muslims in the Middle East, Africa and Asia, when most of us would never tolerate the denial of these rights to white and non-white people here in Britain. Finally, our message is simple. There should be no double standards, no moral or cultural relativism. Defend universal human rights, one law for all. Thank you.